What's up guys? Today's mini figure of the day is... Ta-da! The weightlifter. Hey guys, G Housen here. And today we have a double feature for you. And here is the mini figure of the episode, the wrestler. Um, the first set being 9491 Genosi and Canon, 132 pieces, 21.99 at Toys R Us. Um, I think maybe 19.99 at regular price, and of course 12.99 at Target. Um, battle Pack 9488 Elite Clone Trooper and Commando Battle Droid Battle Pack 98 pieces. So it has a couple of cool action figures in there. So here's the back side of the boxes. Right there. So I guess I'll just open the battle pack raw for you guys. Let's open it. Uh, it's recommended. I don't think never seen these special droids in there. It's from the animated series. So, and I thought they looked cooler than the regular battle droids. So here you go. Instruction booklet here with the kid in the back and here you go so two packs one full of weapons and the other one full of mini figures and so here's the Genosian uh, what's this one called again? Genosian Cannon which is in the video game we can build the cannon. So this one has a couple of stuff. So this I've never seen. These are probably for the wings of the of the flying um what are those called? Genosians. I guess one's for the Genosian zombie and the other one's for the Genosian warrior. So the Genosium Zombie is probably this one here, and the Genosium Warriors, the healthier wings. Comes with a big huge number two bag, instruction booklet here, with the kid. And you start getting rid of that kid, get a new kid. There we go. Mini figure pack. So here's everything you see neatly placed. That's the Genosian stuff and that's the battle pack. So that completes the animation for this set, which is the battle pack set. So here's the cannon, and this pushes out, so you can shoot the cannon out, load it back up. The cannon turret head goes up and down. The cannon does not turn, I just have it on the pivot there. The legs are, they move side to side, and the feet go up and down, and this uh, 
handlebar is able to move up and down. This is the original clone trooper that I just popped on him. So here's the cannon. So it comes with the uh, clear piece right there. And that's pretty much how it looks like. So that was it. And the minifigure. This guy will probably be the one of the cool looking ones. Looks like he has some sort of commander um, communications pack or maybe an ammo pack. I'm not sure. But he does have the the cloak on the on the shoulders. So that's it for that guy. There's his face. And here what looks to be an ARF trooper, I believe. But his marking here is different. And I'm I think it's red or brownish red. I'm not really sure what color that is. Compared to the other one where it's black. That's pretty neat. So here's an old cyborg or droid trooper. And here's these ones. And of course these ones look much better on the leg and on, on the face. But of course these look more like cyborgs and these look more like droids. These take more of a human, kind of a human form mainly due to the legs and I think they stand taller than the regular droid yeah you see so it's mainly on the legs and the head the head's way more detailed looks great and so that's pretty much it in the battle pack uh, you get extra weapons and you also get an <clears throat> extra armor. Looks like you get a couple of extra visors and four extra visors and three extra communication headsets, two extra guns, and a couple of extra droid hands. So I thought that was pretty neat. And yes, uh, this set pretty much recommend, re recommended to purchase if you're a Star Wars fan. See, pretty neat. And you get a big old cannon to go with it as a modeling agent. So yes, this set's pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this part of it. Now we're going to go to the second part of it. Alright guys, here's the second review, and it comes with a cannon here, which goes up and down, like so, and that's basically it, it has two little turrets there that you can shoot out, and they shoot out from here, so if I could just press this in, Reattach the cannon. There, the two missiles shoot out. Uh, the cannon here is not is assembled very loosely. I mean, 
doesn't have that much room to uh, fit in. Maybe I installed it a little wrong, or maybe it's better off without the two back hinges right there, or the back plates, these two plates right here. But I can't take those out right now, so I'm just going to leave them in there. But it's very loose, so, and here you go, it goes up and down like, like that. The cannon is very detailed, it's very nicely done, so, and this is a great set, has a lot of play feature in it, and then you can put this new character onto the cannon if you want, and it goes up and down and uh, you can load up the guy to have him shoot the cannon. But the minifigures are is, are what's important here. And they look fabulous. So you get a, a zombie Genosian and a, and a Genosian warrior. Which is the human Genosian or the alive one. You get a stormtrooper here with two guns, and you get this Jedi right here. If you want to take a look at the Jedi up close, I can show you that. It's a little too close. <laughs> so there's a nice close up of the Jedi. She has one lightsaber, which is a blue lightsaber. And that's pretty much it, guys. The wings are made of plastic. And they can flap around like that. So can make them look like they're flying. The more people the more people buy the LEGO product, the better it gets. And I think they are getting better. They're putting a lot of money into their designs. That's why the price is pretty much higher. But I don't know why Toys R Us marks it up. I mean, they don't even have, they don't even have discounts anymore. And they mark it up by like $10. So if you were to buy it anywhere, I would buy it at LEGO dot com or the Lego store. The Lego store usually even it's they're even better. They have twenty percent discounts if you buy a a broken box. So I usually try to look for those. So and um, to add on got the Captain America that will be in my next review so thanks for watching guys I do read all of your comments I just don't reply to them as much uh, sorry about that but thank you for all the subscribers and thanks for uh, supporting me anyways um, I'm out guys stay tuned for Avengers review coming soon See you guys.